Hi guys, this is Teacher Jam Lokbanin Bustog So, kamusta po kayong lahat? So, uh, tapos na yung ating mahabang bakasyon or yung ating uh, uh, Holy Week So, back to the normal na ulit tayo uh, So, for today, ang atin pong i-discuss is the work immersion module 2 the work ethics Yan, ano ba yung work ethics na ito? So, uh, this is your self-learning module for the pre-immersion and all the activities provided in this lesson will help you to learn and understand the work ethics. So, ang ating pong objectives for this uh, uh, work immersion module 2 is to define the work ethics. Ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng work ethics? Enumerate the characteristics needed in developing the good work ethics and get oriented on the different work ethics and practice good work ethics. So, yan po yung ating uh, objectives for today. Okay. So, bago tayo mag-start, ay pakisagutan po muna itong ating pretest. So, uh, listed here are the characteristics needed in acquiring the good work ethics. And please choose the letter that approaches or, I mean, corresponds to the characteristics related to the scenario happening in the workplace. So, these are uh, here in the boxes from A to J. So, ito po yung choices sa pagpipilian nyo at sagutan nyo po ito. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ano po? So, I will give you time para po masagutan natin o masagutan nyo ito. Okay. Matapos natin sagutan yung ating uh, pre-test. So, let us now recap kung ano pa yung ating na discuss last time. So, based on the memorandum DM-CI-2020-00085 entitled The Guidelines for Work Immersion Implementation During Crisis Situation Enumerate the schemes where in the work immersion activities in all tracks can, can be performed what scheme is most appropriate in this area. Why? So, natatandaan nyo pa ba yung ating mga discussions la discussion last time? Ha? Natatandaan pa ba? Okay, naalala nyo ba yung uh, uh, all activities in all trucks that can be performed in different schemes? Ano-ano yun? So, pwede ang in-school, home-based, community-based, and school industry partnership. Yes, that's right. So, yun po yung ating mga a different scheme na pwede nating i-perform in any or in all tracks. So, naalala na? Yan. Very good. Our lesson for today is here. So, imagine you are an employer of a company and there are two applicants left after previous screenings. But you need only one to fill in the vacant position. And whom are you going to choose? Is it the applicant with the very good credentials beside being an honor and honor graduate? But during the interview, he appears to be arrogant as uh, seen on his ways or actions? Or is it the other applicant who is just an ordinary graduate but seems to be a humble and sincere as what is projected in the interview? So which of them you are going to choose? The honor graduate or the ordinary graduate? The arrogant uh, applicant or the very humble and sincere applicant? So, you choose. Okay. And most of the time, many, many choose the second applicant because he may not be as academically good as the other applicant, but the way he or she answers during the interview revealed his or her true character. The interviewer considers much the attitude. That's why your your attitude towards work is very important which is about our lesson for today. The work ethics. Okay. So, magandang topic to. Kasi 
Napapanahon kasi since that you are grade 12 students and you're about to graduate and uh, may, maybe some some of you are going to to work and others are may continue their uh, schooling, going to college, get some degree and the others go to work for financial uh, uh, needs, support, uh, the families and other good reasons okay so um, this work ethics is a group of moral principles standards of behavior or a set of values regarding proper conduct in the workplace so that is the uh, uh, base from Webster dictionary that is the definition it is necessary to know if your action conform to the work ethics and uh, you can ask yourself, do, do I show respect to everyone in the workplace or am I becoming rude to others or uh, did I tell the truth about the problems? There are many instances or stories you heard about employees being fired from a job or work. What could be the reason? These are the sort, some, of, some, some of them. So non-compliance with the rules and uh, regulations and harassment to fellow employees, theft or stealing, utterance of offensive language, negligence of the responsibility, troublemakers or frequent cause of conflict and the grievous offenses. So these are the reasons why some are being fired from work so what are the common work uh, ethics that you are as an employee should remember so uh, attendance matters do you think attendance is most and matters is it important yes of course for attendance this attendance is very important because uh, uh, going late at work is not a very good idea and and your, your your boss might think that oh this person is uh, had a very bad habit of becoming late and you know many of the employers are not fond of being late yeah so for attendance be on time or 10 to 15 minutes before the time and of course don't abuse leave time and avoid absences without valid and important reason so that's why when you are in in high school studying so your, your teachers are always ask you oh why are you late so you, you give some reasons and and the teachers okay so uh, it's okay um, but promise next time you, you won't come uh, late so that's why the teachers is always telling you uh, remind you na wag kayong magiging late kasi wa, once you you have work pag nagwa work na kayo and it's not a good habit because madadala nyo yung pagiging late nyo in your work and uh, bad impressions na makikita ng iyong employer sa'yo so attendance is matters key the second one is the character yan the character so ano bang character meron ka so na, we have honesty so honesty sabi nga di ba lagi sa honesty is the best policy so well anyway honesty an honest employee fosters a good reputation to an organization so be honest by telling the truth at all times and never attempt stealing nor theft just like the uh, uh, tricycle drivers who return the lost or lost money gadget to the owner so binabalik so ibig sabihin if you are uh, honest so syempre mas magtitiwala sa'yo yung iyong 
employer or the organization. So, syempre, mahalaga ang pagiging honest. Okay. Punctuality. Yan. You need to submit your work early on or time. Always come to your work 15 minutes before time. Do not be late. So, ayaw ng, ng mga bosses natin ng mga late. Ano? So, be punctual. Okay. So, dapat pag sinabing pasok ka ng oras na to, pasok ka. So, wag malilate. At pag sinabing submit your outputs on this time and your due date is this date. So, submit on time. On and before. Not after the due date. Kasi hindi maganda yon So, ganyan kayo, di ba mga students? You always, you always the, uh, doing this, you, you make it a habit. So, hindi magandang habit yung mag-submit ka ng after the due date, after the date, oh no, it's not good. It's not, it's not very, very good. It's bad. Bad habit. So, madadala mo yan in the your next venture. So, hindi yun maganda. So, sabi ko nga sa inyo, maging honest, yung punctuality nyo, your attendance nyo. So, dapat in school pa lang, nagpa-follow na. That's why your teachers, your teachers are always reminding you na pasok kayo on time, submit your outputs or projects in time or on time. Kasi, hindi maganda yung yung nagiging late kayo palagi. Hindi lang sa pagpasok, but sa pagsasubmit ng outputs or projects. Okay. Kasi, nakakadagdag points din kapag lagi kang on time or or punctual ka, hindi ka nililate, honest ka, and etc. Another one is integrity and loyalty. Yan. That is, uh, ito maganda to. Kasi, never disclose nor reveal nor share confidential matters. Kaya nga, confidential, di ba? So, it is private. And you must be trustworthy so that people will rely and trust you. So, maraming ganito sa panahon na yun. Ngayon, nawawala na ang integrity and loyalty. Diba? So, yun. So, never disclose, nor reveal, nor share confidential matters. And you must be trustworthy so that the people will rely and trust you. Okay. Always remember that. So, teamwork. Ayan. Ito maganda to. Teamwork. So, tayo naman, I know naman you guys, na, na kayo as a student, kapag may pinapagawa si teacher na team, uh, group, group work, so, nagko-collaborate naman ang everybody, each of the member. That's why be a good team player with your colleagues in a workplace and always help one another to achieve more and to achieve your goal. Siyempre, pag sinabing teamwork, you need to work together, di ba? Para mas maganda yung output nyo. If, if you do not work as a team, syempre the output, the outcomes, hindi ganun kaganda. And then nagkakaroon ng samaan ng loob. Diba? Sasabihin mo, ako lang naman ang gumawa nito. Yung isa naman, nandiyan lang. Ganyan, ganyan. So, why don't you uh, ask everybody to collaborate, uh, to, to work to work with you, to work with one another, para mas madali nyo ma-achieve yung goals nyo. Okay. Productivity. Ano ba yung pag sinabi natin productivity? You have to accomplish more within the stipulated or specified time. And never use your time for doing nonsense things like chatting, chit-chatting, gossiping, texting, and others. Ano? Doing those things will not help uh, help you to be more productive. Okay. So, instead of making a chit-chat, making a gossip, uh, chat with your boyfriend, girlfriend, and, and others, so be productive. Ano? Yeah. Reliability. It is a quality of being able to be trusted or believed because of working or behaving well. Your employer trusts trust you that you can do your own work without so much supervision and you can also be asked for help at time your employer and your co-worker so reliability this is a good one 
commitment to excellence. Yan, maganda to. Commitment to excellence, you do not only work just for compliance, but you work hard to produce the best input or best quality. Yan ang maganda. Hindi ka lang basta uh, uh, kum, uh, ang tawag dito, hindi ka lang basta nag-work just to comply or for the compliance. Ano? Instead, you work hard to produce the best output and the best quality ever. So, yan. And another thing is professionalism. Yan. Professionalism, it is more than just how you look but it is a way of speaking behaving and even thinking that helps a person to be successful in a workplace you must know how to follow all workplace rules so yeah you also know how to admit if you made a mistake and learn from it and ask help if you are not sure how to handle situation and language is important aspect of communication. Diba? Whether you are talking with your co-workers in a privacy of your own office or uh, to a customer, practice using language that is appropriate for the workplace in your everyday uh, conversation so that you could get into a habit of sounding professional. And lastly, always dress up appropriately. So, pag sinabing professional, so, be formal. Uh, watch your words. And wear appropriately. Diba? Yan. Attitude. Oh, ito maganda. Ito. The attitude. Many always look for an employee with the right attitude. To be a better employee, you must listen to uh, suggestions and be positive on different challenges. And you also accept responsibility and trust to you and Admit your own mistakes if ever you commit one. And respect everyone in the workplace. Uh, respect uh, begets respect. Okay? And cooperations or cooperation. So, how do you demonstrate your cooperation in a workplace? Paano ba to na employ? You're right. You know how to follow rules? And regulations of the workplace that's right that's good you also know how to get along with the others good besides you also uh, show appreciation of the privilege and never abuse them so cooperation is very good thing yes okay so another one is professional appearance and uh, grooming for the workplace so in today's uh, competitive and modern business world it is highly essential to adhere with a professional appearance and grooming for the workplace you need to be keep uh, you need to keep in mind that uh, following the basic guidelines for a good grooming in a proper workplace uh, where business such as uh, business suits and uh, in the basic colors so maganda yung yung uh, appearance natin the good grooming and uh, yung professional uh, out uh, look natin diba? always be in a neat and clean including your teeth fingernails face hair even your shoes yan linisin lagi natin tong mga to your shoes natin your your teeth yan proper hygiene yan Keep your pockets empty and as much as possible, avoid linking coins or keys and bulg, bulges. And avoid eating candies, smoking cigarettes, and chewing gum when you are, um, when you are inside the office. And use portfolio case for or light briefcase when you're carrying important documents with you instead of compiling these documents in a folders and carrying this between your armpits. Yan. So, dapat ganun po yung ating gagawin. Okay. And as much as possible, get rid of tattoos out and body piercings out for this will just make you look untidy and and professional but of course kung yung mga tattoos and 
pairs nyo naman ay nakatago, it's, it's okay lang naman. Uh, if you have a tattoo, um, yung nakikita, so, some, not all of the employers are, are having a bad thinking of getting have a tattoos and the body pairs, but uh, it's an art. But, if you are looking or working in a good reputable companies of course uh, be um, uh, careful okay of having it to outside of uh, your skin I mean uh, yung nakikita siya yung show so uh, you could have your tattoo um, in the uh, yung hindi siya kita na part okay so, uh, yung thinking ng ibang uh, tao na you look untidy and uh, unprofessional if you're having that. But, nowadays, hindi naman lahat ay ganun. Okay? Kasi naman, sa mga establish, uh, I mean, some of the establishments, lalo na yung mga nagpapa-ads, naglalagay sila, uh, kumbaga, kung, kung okay lang ba sa kanila if you have a tattoo, yung show, show na tattoo, o kaya, Kung may tattoo ka naman, basta takip or tago, it's okay. Yan. Naglalagay sila, no tattoo at, ano tawag dito, uh, all of your body. So, may mga ganun silang rules. So, hanap ka na lang, if you have a tattoo, hanap ka na lang ng, uh, hanap ka na lang ng ibang company na nag accept ng ganun. Okay. And another one is wear light perfumes, cologne, and minimize using a lots of jewelries. So, uh, yan. Avoid mo daw yung uh, very uh, heavy uh, na, na cologne or perfume. Yung light lang para hindi siya, siguro para uh, hindi siya masakit sa ilo. So, uh, let, us, let us now move to our activities. The activity 1, work ethics on the go. So, these are the directions. Answer the following questions after each situation. Okay, please answer the uh, letter A and the letter B and I'll give you time for you to answer uh, this activity. Okay, after uh, doing the activity one, so uh, let's move to activity two, the work ethics in me. So here's the direction. Among the different work ethics we have studied, which among them uh, do you often practice at home, in school, or in anywhere? Give me at least five sentences. Write the instances you practice it. I'll give you a minute answering with activity two. Okay, after answering the activity two, so let us now wrap up. So, um, hey, so... One of the curriculum exits of the uh, KG-12 basic program is employment. Is it it's good that you have developed a certain discipline to uphold good work ethics because it will make you a better employee? And uh, here is the segment pyramid where you will uh, list all the basic characteristics that will develop you or develop your good work ethics. So can you please... Uh, Fill in the uh, pyramid and uh, put some and write some basic characteristics that will help you to develop your or a good work ethics. Okay. So uh, for valuing, now uh, go on to valuing. Okay. So is it good to be always transfer transferring from one company to another, or if all employees or workers in a uh, or workers are in a good relationship with one another, they might stay longer because they may be happy and satisfied because of exercising right character and the attitude in a workplace. And um, write some essay on how you envision yourself as part of the industries or company workforce. And how will the work ethics will be helpful in maintaining a good work relationship can you please write your essay in a yellow paper or in a bond paper or in a clean paper okay so uh after doing the, the
that, so uh, kindly please uh, answer the pause test. Okay, so this is just only a simple pause test because we have only a five questions. So kayang kayo nyo po ito. Okay. Thank you for listening and watching my videos. So please kindly click or subscribe the button, the subscribe button, and click the notification bell down there. So uh, you could notify on my upcoming videos. So please uh, stay safe, keep safe, and stay healthy, guys. And see you soon. Bye.